In order to weld aluminum with this, we hook up 100% argon gas, set the flow rate between 40 and 50, and then the next step is loading aluminum wire. In order to use an eight inch spool, we use a spacer, undo the wire retaining nut, install the spacer, install the wire coming off at six o'clock on the bottom towards the feeder. And this is a friction fit, tighten it up, set the wire break loose. If you don't know how loose, you could unscrew it all the way. And then after it's out, put it back in one, two full turns. That's about the right tightness for aluminum wire. Then what I do typically is I try to straighten the part out between my fingers like this, pick the straightest part, cut it right at the straightest part. Feed this through the wire feeder. And have it stick out the machine a little bit. Your drive roll tension here should be around one, no more than one and a half. Later on, as we install the welding gun and do a function check, we ideally want the wire, if there is a problem, to spin the wire feeder rather than crinkle up and bird's nest. So in order to feed the wire correctly, we need to install a drive roll for aluminum. The drive roll for aluminum has a, either they call it a shallow V or a U groove roll. What happens is it's a larger, larger groove, not as narrow as on a steel wheel, which hugs the wire more than forces it. And uh, it's labeled 1.0A for 035 and 1.2A for 364th wire. You want the 1.0A facing you. Clock this with the key, install it, put the drive roll retaining screw on. Pressure between one and one and a half, and your aluminum wire is installed. I would recommend Alcotec wire for best feedability because the surface tension, the surface finish is best, is absolutely superior. I would also recommend using an eight inch diameter spool like this one here because of the weight, it keeps the machine portable and also on double pulse where the wire speed alternates between the peak pulse and the background. If you have a large wire spool with lots of weight and very little drive roll pressure on here, you don't want the wire to slip, you want it to feed good. What happens is if you increase the drive roll pressure too much, on soft alloys like 4043, you're actually deforming the wire, make it kind of diamond shape. You dis you're disturbing the surface finish. It will hang up in the liner. It will come out corkscrew as the drive roller applies too, much, applies too much pressure, creates more contact points with the liner. Feedability uh, is lost. And also where it goes through the contact tip and is supposed to accept the electrons, the surface finish and the surface area is reduced so that nothing good can come out of drive roll pressure being too high for any kind of wire, but everything is more critical on aluminum.